Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today, we're gonna be covering GameCube games in RetroArch. Now, the Dolphin Core was released for RetroArch and it's very experimental, but for me, I've had no trouble playing any GameCube games using RetroArch at all. Even though this is an experimental core, I really wanted to do this tutorial because this is an amazing step forward for RetroArch. We now have the Dolphin Core, Wii games are not working for me within the Dolphin Core in RetroArch, but GameCube games work perfectly. I'm going to walk you through updating RetroArch to the latest 1.6.0, and then we're going to set up Dolphin within RetroArch. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to need are some GameCube games. Now these are ISO files. They're just like disk images. I have a few here on my desktop in a folder called Nintendo GameCube. I'm going to navigate to my LaunchBox directory, and that's in my C drive, ETA Prime, Users, LaunchBox, Games, and I'm going to throw my games right in here. So I now have a folder, Nintendo GameCube, with my GameCube ISOs in it. Next thing we want to do is update RetroArch. I'll leave a link in the description for you. This is 1.6.0. If you don't have RetroArch set up yet for LaunchBox, go ahead and do that. I'll leave links in the description. Jason and Brad have made some really good videos on how to set up RetroArch. We're gonna update it right now. So the very first download link here is the updated files for RetroArch, underscore RetroArch.7z. It's only 9.1 megabytes. This will keep all of your other cores intact. We're gonna download this. I've already downloaded mine and it's on my desktop, so I'm just gonna right click, extract it to its own folder. We're gonna navigate to our emulators folder within LaunchBox, RetroArch, and we're gonna take the files from the updated system that we just downloaded, place them right in here. Replace the files in the destination, we just wanna override them. There we go. While we're here, there's a few things we need to do in RetroArch, so we're gonna go ahead and launch it once. We only have to do this once to set this core up, then we can launch our games from within LaunchBox. From the main menu, scroll down to Online Updater, Core Updater, and we wanna find GameCube slash Wii Dolphin. We're gonna download this core. Let's back up. Now we're gonna to go to settings, scroll down to user interface, show advanced settings, make sure that that's on. We'll back up, now we need to find core and we need to enable hardware shared contacts. So make sure that this is checked to on. So now when we launch a GameCube game within RetroArch, it will use the Dolphin Core and we'll be able to play GameCube in RetroArch. Now we need to start LaunchBox and import our GameCube games. We're also going to set up the RetroArch core inside of there. So what I've done is I've created a text document here. Associated platform, Nintendo GameCube, and our default command line parameter for launching the Dolphin core from within LaunchBox. Go ahead and download that, link is in the description. Let's start LaunchBox. So now we need to add that default command line parameter to our RetroArch emulator. We're gonna to go to Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch. From here, we're gonna to go to Associated Platforms, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and from that text file, add Nintendo GameCube, and then the core. This is the default command line parameter. You can copy and paste these, make it very easy for you. Make sure it is checked. Click OK, close, and now we need to import our GameCube games. Go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. This is the Import Wizard. We'll click Next. I'm gonna add that full GameCube folder that I added to my LaunchBox Games folder. My LaunchBox directory is under my C drive, Users, ETA Prime, LaunchBox, Games, we need to find Nintendo GameCube. Click OK and Next. 
platform for imported ROMs. We're going to get the drop down menu here and find Nintendo GameCube. Click next. Choose an emulator. RetroArch should be chosen, but if it's not, go ahead and choose RetroArch. Click next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I already placed them in the correct directory. We're only going to search for information from the LaunchBox Games database. From this menu, we can pick and choose what images are downloaded. I usually leave everything checked. LaunchBox database does a great job. Next, you may be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. If you don't have an account, I definitely recommend going to sign up. If you donate to them, you'll get more downloads per day. So you can download more videos per day. Same thing here with the images. You can pick and choose what you want. I usually leave everything checked. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for RetroArch and GameCube. I'm going to go to Next. It's going to parse the files for us. Here we have the name of the game, the directory or the location of the game, and the file extension. All these games should be .iso. Click Finish. Now LaunchBox is going to download all of our box art and metadata. Give it a little bit of time. It really depends on how many games you're importing. My five games were imported successfully. I'm gonna click OK. Over in the left-hand column here, we should now have a Nintendo GameCube option. Just check that all my images imported successfully, and it looks good to me. I'm just gonna start Soul Calibur 2. Double click. It's gonna launch RetroArch for us, and we'll start playing GameCube games within RetroArch. Now I completely understand that you can use the Dolphin Core and get higher resolution, but this is an awesome step forward, like I said, for RetroArch. In the near future, I believe we're going to be able to play these at 4K from RetroArch, no trouble at all. This is very experimental, but GameCube works good. As long as you set it up correctly, I've had no trouble at all. So I have my FPS listed up in the top left hand corner, consistent 60 FPS. You can press escape on your keyboard, it'll close RetroArch, bring us back into LaunchBox, or if you set up controller automation, you can use your hotkeys on your controller. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I wanted to get this out there because a lot of people didn't even know that the Dolphin Core is working yet within RetroArch. Like I said, I've had really good luck playing GameCube games. Right now, Wii isn't working for me. It might work for you. You can go ahead and try that out if you'd like to. The main problem is I don't own a Wiimote, so I really don't like emulating Wii games on my PC. GameCube... Use an old school, regular style controller, and you can play pretty much every GameCube game with Dolphin. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.